Okay. <laughs> Welcome to Erica LOL Beauty and Reviews. I am Erica. I am restarting this video because I have four half videos because all week long nobody wants to bother me. I sit down and record and everybody wants to bother me today. So <laughs> we're starting over. I will let you know what's already on my face right now. It is Happy Friday, Chit Chat Friday, yes. Um, I already have the NYX Marshmallow Primer. I love the way it feels and it looks. It feels so moisturizing when I'm putting it on. Since I answered the phone this time for the third time, let me put more of this on. Y'all don't know because I'm not putting the rest of those up because it's annoying. Okay, um... I'm using the ELF Camo, Conce Cam Camo CC Cream. Complete coverage, color correcting, whatever you want to call it. Um, that's what I'm wearing. I'm going to put them over here because, you know, I could get interrupted again and may need to redo this again. Um, I was using this sponge, but it didn't get over here and in a couple of other spots. It's like it, it just piled it up and it didn't look right. So I started using my brush. And now it's all uniform. Oh, I also have the Too Faced Lip Injection on. That's why my lips look hot pink. Um, I'm wearing that. And I think you're all caught up to where I'm at. <sighs> Which also adds to what we were talking about. So I have to start over. Alright. The reason there was no video. About two weeks ago, I found a lump right here. And it's not just that I was feeling like you're supposed to do every month and it was I was taking a shower looked down and I saw it so I reached out to my doctor that Friday and I heard from her no I waited a couple days to see if it went away because sometimes you know it could be like something under the skin that messed up so I waited about a um this is um private society contour stick um so I waited a couple days to see if it went away and that Friday which was the last Friday I messaged my doctor it's been about two weeks since I found it and she messaged me back and said she would get one of her colleagues to see me and she would check on me while I was there. Um, to make sure how everything was. And I have an appointment with her on the 18th of next month just for, you know, to let you know everything. Is this not clean all the way? It's still greenish. Do y'all see the greenish tint? That's from the soap I used to clean it. So we're going to use something else. We're going to use this elf one right here. Um, so we, um, she messaged me. Her office called me on Tuesday and wanted me to come in 730 in the morning on Wednesday. So I was like, okay, sure. So I was. That's when I wrote the message because I was like, there's no way I'm going to get a video recorded today because my brain is all stressed out, which it has been since I found it. I'm sure most of you understand that. Um, so I was like, okay. And there was no way when I had to take Eric to my mom's that morning that I would be able to do a video that morning because I would have to be up pretty early this is no Juvia's place so I could drop Eric off at my mom's and get to Galveston before 730 to see my doctor so I was like, okay, let me go put that message up and let them know I would try to get a video up Thursday. And I'll explain why there wasn't a video up Thursday also in a minute. Um, that night before 
their office closed, their secretary called me again because she needed to reschedule because she had a meeting at eight and she wasn't sure how long it would take to do what they were doing and didn't want to rush. That totally started looking like crap. That was like too bright. But I could always put a little bit more contour on. How come that don't look balanced? You see what I'm talking about? Like my, my everything's not doing. You know that Murphy's Law, I think it is. If anything can go wrong, it will. That's what I feel like is happening to me today. I'm just trying to brighten and darken at the same time here. Shade and light, peeps. Shade and light. Okay, let's go ahead with this and see if we could blend that in. We're going to use our finger right here. All right. I don't want to pile makeup on. Look at this. Let me see if I can get it. Nope, it's out. Let's get some... Um, we're going to use this Undone Beauty Cream Blush because I've been trying to do that. Like put a little bit on underneath so that the um, makeup holds all day. Because, you know, sometimes the powders just come off. They just do. That looks a little better. We're going to go with it for now because my brain. Okay. Anyways. There are many things, I don't know if I've talked about it in this one, so we're just going to say it again, that a bump can be on a person, uh, especially a woman. It could be a milk duct that got clogged. I breastfed, I had a child, so they're there. That could be what it is. This is the Physician's Formula Natural Defense, like usual. Um... I'm not flipping y'all off. There was something there and I just realized I used the wrong finger. I'm so sorry. Um, it could be a clogged milk duct. It could be a fatty cyst. It could be any number of things. I even know all this. I know this is everything it could be. But the la I had a bump before. That was under the skin for some reason having one that I could see and feel feels different and my brain doesn't want to acknowledge that that it could be anything and it could be nothing it could be everything and it could be on nothing so my brain is not wanting to see that part it's wanting to go with what is going to happen. It's preparing for the worst. Which I guess is logical. Everybody prepares for the worst, I'm sure. When something like this happens, hope for the best, prepare for the worst, right? That's what I was always taught. Yeah, my mom right now is telling me, don't worry, it's nothing. It's going to be nothing. Which is fine to say, but your body reacts differently than what you're trying to tell it to do. So my brain has been fuzzy. I'm going to use the Natasha Denona Bronze and Glow. I don't know if these are still available, but I will um, link, if I remember, her bronzer down below. This I paid like 20 bucks for. I like these little ones. So, my brain is telling myself that it's nothing, but my body and the other half of my brain, the emotional part, 
the logical part of my brain is like, it's fine. It's nothing. It's going to be fine. It could be all these things. The other part is that messes with my emotions is all over the place. I get up in the morning and I just want to lay back down, which is hard to do when you have Eric running around and everything else. And I'm just hoping she tells me, okay, it, uh, this is what I think it is, but you're going to have to go to this doctor I'm going to put in for a, so that she could image it and we can make sure. That's what I feel like is going to happen and that might be the best case scenario. Because either way, I got to go to that doctor where they put your little thing in the machine and squish you. And I could say, pandemic or not, don't skip that appointment. Because guess what I did last year? I canceled that appointment because I couldn't go everywhere because I had a child. I'm using the, that was also the blush and glow. Now I'm using the highlighter and the bronze and glow. I'm not going anywhere. I'm just wearing a fancy shirt and a pair of sweatpants. So, but that is why there was no video Wednesday. That is why there was no video Thursday because my brain didn't want to. I got up yesterday morning and I wanted so bad to get on video. But my body said, no, you're going to lay down. So I listened to my body and I laid down. Where did that little marshmallow go? Okay, it's right here. I'm gonna use the other end of it to. To put this stuff all together right there. Okay. Now we're gonna use the Anastasia Beverly Hills. Um, Brow definer. It's like a sample size. It's right here in front of me. I didn't have to think about it much. Mostly because I thought about it before I turned the camera on. Okay. But I would like prayers. And if any of y'all have experience with this, let me know what it turned out to be. So that maybe my brain will start saying, see, it's not. But I try to keep everything real with y'all. I have family members I haven't even told yet. That I found it because I don't want to stress them out. And they don't watch my channel. Most of them don't watch YouTube at all. Some of them wouldn't even know what YouTube was. I am also waiting for some good legal news. Um, if any of y'all know, Eric's father and I are still married. He hasn't been around since Eric was six months old. Well, he's been around on and off, but not enough to make it. Anyways, um, I finally was able to afford to file for divorce. Because, but me and Jason have been together for a while, so. And we've known each other for a long time. He's been there for Eric. So I'm waiting for that. Because I turned in the papers. I don't have a lawyer. I did it myself. <clears throat> Basically. Basically. I had help from a lawyer or legal assistant. Don't you hate when one of your brows don't want to do what the other one is doing? It's like, I don't know. It's just the Murphy's Law Week. That's what I'm going to call it. It's Murphy's Law Week. <laughs> if anything can go wrong, it will. 
so I'll put the brow thing on later. Um, right now, we're going to go between, I think I want to use Charm School. Yes. It's not really Christmassy colors, and I should probably use a different palette because I kind of want to do a Christmas look, but I think I'm just going to bite the bullet and get up next week and do, or this weekend and do a Christmas look because my brain is already doing what I know it's going to do, and I have... I wanted to do empties and I might do empties after this and put that up Monday and put a Christmas look up Wednesday. Um, and don't forget Monday is the day that the um, giveaway ends also. So Wednesday's video will probably announce the winners if they want to be announced. I am going to say that. Uh, but here's the palette. This is Charm School. Um, let me go ahead and swatch these for y'all. Let me get a thing out. I just want one. Why does it keep giving me multiples? I think this is still available on Ulta and on the um, website, ColourPop website. So the first color is Twiggy, I'm sure, and Heart Tag. Twiggy, Heart, I'm sure, heart tag okay this looks like a I, as um okay romper looks like a sequin shade almost as and then on time and that's a wrap it's like a grayish color let's see this is romper no it's just like a weird matte okay and that's the um on time and that's the gray shade that is that's a wrap okay and then this looks like another i'll show you in this okay grace jingle jungle and co grace jingle jungle and co see what i mean by the sequins in them there's like those two matte shades actually have some sparkle to them let me bring up the palette to you all right see the two on the bottom the three on the bottom they all look shimmer but they're two on the sides are matte and this one's a matte but it looks it's got sparkles in it too so okay we're gonna take I'm sure which is on middle on the first row which is kind of dark so Here's hoping it does what I want it to do. Hold on. I noticed the foundation was everywhere. But yes, that's why I haven't been... All the videos y'all have seen, in fact, were recorded before I found the bump. I am trying to start getting ahead so that personal problems don't end up, which means I need to start recording on days that, even if I don't need a video, I need a day of the week that I record so that I could stay ahead. That's usually the goal, right? Except for Fridays. Friday videos usually are ones that recorded on a Friday or a Thursday. This happens to be the Friday. All right, we got those on there. Now let's grab, I'm gonna grab this. I'm gonna see how this works. Our churro brush, it's like a, it's like really sturdy. We're gonna go in. No, I don't think it's gonna work the way I want it to. We're gonna leave it alone. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Let me grab, where is it at? There it is. I'm going to grab my little brush and we're going to go into, that's a wrap. This is a gray shade. I was kind of worried about how that one brush would work with it. Because I got a feeling I'm not good with black shades either. So I'm thinking this is similar to black. And it's patchy but that 
I'm sure has something to do with the shade because I've never had a patchiness problem with the ColourPop shades. All right, let's go into the other eye. grab this one again try to buff that in up there and they are similar and I could build up the edge and they do and it does look good but let's see if we could build more of a dark line in that area I'm trying to find the right brush that I could build up. Let's go ahead and put the shimmer shade in. And we're just gonna go on with the, um, let me see, which one would, y'all can't answer. Let me look at these. Um, part of me wants to go with the silver, but the other part of me thinks that it would, hmm, I wonder if I could do both. Let's go with the, um, let's start off with the gold on the center. Now we're going to start off with the silver on the inner corners, like on the inner side. We're going to use an Arturo brush. That actually looks good. And it lays down really nice. You notice I stopped halfway across on both sides. Now we're going to use the other side and see if we could put this gold on here on the outskirts. We'll start over the top of the silver so that they blend together. There's like a s different color. It's like a lighter color right there. I do like the way that turned out. That does look pretty. We'll start right there where it overlaps and then go. Okay, now I wasn't taking it so easy because I knew it would work. But you know how last time I did it, did something, I was like, let's see if this works, and it messed it all up. We're going to use that first brush I pulled out, and we're going to just ease over the top of those colors. And it didn't work, and it messed everything up, and I like the way this looks, though. Okay, we're going to take the other brush, and we're going to take that gray shade, and we're just going to build it up on the edge on top I like how it's like a soft glamorous kind of look and let's take this original color and just kind of blend over the top I'm going to grab this brush. It's a Morphe R39 brush. And we're just going to blend the top of that. I'm going to grab this brush. And we're going to go into a first shade called Twiggy. We're just going to stick it in the corner. We're going to take that and just put it on the back side of that same shade and put it on the back side of the brows to like highlight it. 
Let me grab bronze and glow again. Let's see if I could get a better highlight going. I like how the eye look is turning out. I want to take. I'm going to take this brush and we're going to go into That's a Wrap. And only go halfway across. I'm going to take this elf brush and just kind of smoke that. I'm going to go back into that first shade that we used on top and just fluff it underneath also. All right. And now I just want to take a little bit of heart tag over the top of all of those shimmers. All right, I have no idea. There it is. Yay, we found it. We're gonna go ahead and use this eyelash curler. We're gonna use Honest Beauty. We're gonna use the lash primer first. can't see nothing which is odd so we're just going to go ahead and go into the mascara has been doing good. Jason's probably going to go on vacation the first week of the year. Um, Eric and I won't be going because I have doctor's appointments and stuff that I have no idea anything about yet. We're going to use this St. Lux brow gel for the brows. Um, that and Taking me and Eric on vacation is not real fun because all we could do really is stay in the hotel room or go swim in the hotel pool, drive around. Eric loves driving around. But Jason wants to relax and being stuck in a hotel room with me and Eric is probably not his idea of relaxing. If his idea of relaxing isn't being at home. <laughs> I'm going to use this um, NYX Copenhagen and then I want to use this mellow Auckland And I like the way that looks mm, Don't you just love when the spray you use on your face is so moisturizing And the lips look a little odd. I'm going to blot them. Diamond. 
There we go. And sometimes when your lips feel like they're too moisturized, you could take a little bit of a shimmer. And it gives that little bit of brightness in the center as well as um, matting it down a little bit for you. So I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. Prayers would be awesome. I want... I know in my heart that it could be nothing, and I want to believe that, but I also want to prepare for the worst. Let's go ahead and take my hair down. So that's why my brain has been all fuzzy, and if you've been here for a while, this video <laughs> probably showed you my brain is like all fuzzy right now, and um, I'm, all I'm wanting to do is sleep, honestly, and I have no want to move so I'm thinking I'm kind of depressed also which is wow. sad <laughs> Christmas is coming and I'm worried but hopefully I have answers next Wednesday if they are good answers I will let you know if they are bad answers I will let you know it'll either be in a post on the community tab or it'll be in a video so I love y'all I hope you have a wonderful weekend and I'll see you in the next one promise. Bye.